Megan Kelly and today I'm going to talk to you about fleas and ticks. Now we all see fleas and ticks on our pets um, but are we actually aware of the health significance that they have to our pets as well as our family? Um, your pet will normally pick up fleas from the environment and they really spread from pet to pet. So usually they lie in the sand um, in, in the garden and there will be fleas that will be in the sand jump onto your pet. And um, these obviously can bite your pets and cause the obvious symptoms, which is itchiness. And um, you might also notice some flea dirt, um, which are the little black specks um, of digested blood. And they're normally around the tail area and along the back. But apart from the itchiness, there are also some other health, health implications that these um, fleas might have on your pets. Um, and the one is tapeworm. So um, if your pet has fleas and they're nibbling and they're chewing, they eat the, the, the flea, they can actually get tapeworm from that. So it's important that if you do see fleas on your pet that you also deworm them and make sure that it is a dewormer and that controls tapeworm. If your um, pet has a really bad flea infestation, then they can also become anemic. And the, the last thing is, is that it can also cause a flea allergy dermatitis. So this means that the Flea, um, flea saliva actually causes an allergy in the pet, making the itchiness a lot worse than it would be. So ticks are not as common as fleas, um, and often we don't even realize that they are on our pets, because um, we only really see them when they're engorged, um, and they're really, really large. Um, but ticks can also spread disease. So there are two diseases that ticks can um, spread. Um, the first one is called Babesia, also tick bite fever or biliary. And the second one is called Ehrlichia. Now these two diseases are quite similar. Um, they're transmitted when the, the tick actually bites your pet. Biliary or, or tick bite fever um, causes symptoms such as an appetence, it can cause um, lethargy, really, really high fevers, and um, towards the end, your pet can become really anemic, get pale mucous membranes, and can eventually die. Ehrlichia can cause similar symptoms, um, but it's, it's, it's a lot slower, the progression of the disease, and also they, they have, uh, one of the symptoms is classically them having really swollen lymph nodes or glands. Now both these, um, both these diseases um, are really, really critical um, if your pet gets them and if you suspect that your pet may have a disease that is picked up from ticks such as biliolic here, you need to take them to your vet to get treatment, otherwise it, they can go into a critical state. Then the last thing that a, a tick can cause is a really bad wound infection. They've got really big mouth parts and as they bite, um, bite your dog, they can embed their, their mouth parts of the head into, into your dog's skin and this could cause a wound which can eventually become infected. So ticks and fleas can affect both your cat and your dog and they have health implications. So it's really important if you take um, your, your dog for a walk or when your cat comes in in the evening, just give them a check over to make sure that they don't have any parasites.